कलरफुल मार्बल के welcome you to sanjeev kapoor khazana on the occasion of holi i'm here to present to you a very rang birangi cake rang birangi why because it's a colorful cake it's a simple recipe of a pound cake but then if you put different colors it looks nice so you can either call it rang birangi cake or you can call it a marble cake i would rather go with the word marble because marble is something that everybody can understand so here it is colorful marble cake so what do we do for this simple ingredients we start off with some butter caster sugar eggs refined flour milk baking powder and food colors here i have used blue red yellow and green whatever color that you have you can use i'm using four in case you have three please use three and go ahead with this recipe vanilla essence okay so let's start with the recipe in this recipe there are two processes one process is where we beat the butter and sugar together and the other one is where we beat the eggs well these two steps have to be done separately i would go ahead with beating the eggs first why because we have just one egg beater at home so the egg beater has to be absolutely clean when we beat in the eggs let's beat the eggs first to which we'll now add in some vanilla essence okay whenever we beat eggs these egg beater blades have to be absolutely clean moreover there shouldn't be any amount of fat stuck to this which is why i always beat the eggs first and after the eggs are beaten i'll go in and beat the butter okay so to begin with let's start we'll beat the eggs till it is at ribbon stage so what is ribbon stage will automatically come to know once i beat them like for this recipe we're using about 5 eggs which is why the bowl that i have used is quite big as this will double up in volume so it's always better to use a bigger bowl to beat eggs okay so you see these eggs have been beaten so well this is exactly how you need to beat them and this is ribbon stage okay so we stop beating here now with the same blades into another bowl we'll take in the butter okay so after beating the eggs now it's time to cream butter and sugar till it is nice and fluffy okay so let's take in all the butter butter has to be at room temperature please don't get the frozen butter out of the fridge and then melt it in the microwave that's not right so you should always have soft butter so before you start doing the cake get the butter out of the fridge for at least half an hour and after that you can actually start making the cake Okay one more thing i had to mention in the beginning is that before you start making any of this or even start prepping your ingredients make sure you preheat your oven oven always has to be preheated and this recipe calls for 180 degrees celsius so by the time you actually finish making your batter your oven is also very hot perfect temperature for your cake to go in and start baking so to begin with this is butter soft butter and to this now we'll add in caster sugar this is soft butter and now now we need to cream this as well till it is absolutely creamy this will take anywhere around 10 minutes so at medium speed for 10 minutes if you keep on creaming this your batter will be just perfect okay now what if you don't have a beater like this well it's not all that difficult we all started baking when we didn't have these beaters at home we used to use a wooden spoon a nice round wooden spoon and all you have to do is you could just hold the bowl and keep on creaming yes you can see it's kind of an exercise it's not all that difficult of course by the end of it you may have your arm aching but that's fine you can use both your hands so that it becomes an exercise for you and um, of course the batter and everything if it's fine your cake is going to come out perfect don't bother if you don't have this beater but if you have it obviously you will save out on a lot of time when you have to actually make the batter and you can actually wait for the cake to be done okay so okay so this is done you see this mixture has become quite smooth this is like absolutely smooth and creamy 
Now, all you have to do is mix in the flour along with the baking powder and milk and the eggs that we had beaten up and kept. So, here's the egg, here's the mixture. Okay, so now we have to just blend all these ingredients. First of all, let's take refined flour, baking powder. Okay, this is done. Wow, the eggs are so amazingly beaten. We'll just pour in half of this. We'll pour in half of the milk. So after half the egg has been incorporated in, what we'll do is, we'll pour in the remaining, add in some more milk, and now you have to just mix this. Basically cut and fold, just do this. There's another way that you can do is to make number eight like this. Okay, okay, I see the batter is almost done. Just make sure there isn't any loose flour left in the batter. Okay, so this batter that we have here is a plain vanilla pound cake batter. But since I said I'm making a colorful marble cake, so now I will divide this into four bowls. One, two, three, and so we'll put about one one spoon into each. Okay. Then we put in some more. Basically, we need to divide the batter equally into four bowls. So here you go. Now we'll take in the color and put a few drops, as in we'll divide four colors, and now we have four batters. So here I'll put in the red. After that, we take a piping bag and we pour the entire batter. So this is the pink batter into the piping bag. We'll keep this aside and take the other batter to which we'll add in some green color. So the green batter also goes into a piping bag. Okay, so this is also done. Now let's get to the other batter and make yellow. And this too would go in another piping bag. Okay, the yellow bag is ready. And now comes the last and final blue. Wow, lovely color. And this too would go another one. I have all my four batters done. Now is the time to put all of this into a cake mold. Here I have a medium sized cake mold which I have greased and then dusted this with refined flour. So all that we have to do is cut these bags. So let's do one thing. So this way what we should do is basically alternate the arrange the cake batter so that when you cut the cake you get this real nice and pink since I had quite a bit I'm going to fill in the center with pink now what we'll do is we'll put another layer on top of blue after which we'll take in green then we'll take in some yellow and fill in the center with some blue. Let's take another one. So similarly, you should try and arrange these layers alternately. So when you cut the cake, you get all four colors distinctly. I have used up the entire batter into this cake in all these four colors. They've been layered alternately on top of each other. And now this cake will go in the oven. You don't need to bang this batter. You don't need to level it up. Because what I feel is this cake, in case if you level it up, you'll have a top layer, which is like a blend of all four colors, which may not look too good. So we'll just leave it as it is. The best part is when we actually cut the cake. So as of now, this goes into the oven. And this will take anywhere around 35 to 40 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius into a preheated oven. 
Okay, once the cake comes out of the oven, we we'll let it cool because we never cut a hot cake. And uh, there you will see this lovely marbled, colorful cake. Okay, so the cake is out of the oven. Use a knife and just loosen the sides. It's hot, so be careful. Okay, then what you have to do is take a cooling rack and place it over the cake like this. Wow! Okay, so now this needs to stay on the cooling rack till it is like absolutely at room temperature and after that we will cut them into slices and serve. It looks absolutely pretty once you see the insides but for that we need to wait for a while for this to cool. Well, this was today's recipe. In case you have any other recipe suggestions, please let me know and I'll be more than happy to make it for you. But as of now, happy Holi to all of you. In case you have a Holi party at home, what you can do is make this cake a day in advance and cut it on the day of the party. Your friends and family is going to love it.